the name. Ooh, bro. All right, go go make your name, fam. Dunno, bro. Dunno. <laughs> go for it, man. Okay. I think it's on here, though. To tell you the truth. Man, I play with default control, so I never have to go through this. Is it because like you're a melee guy too? Honestly, I just I like the controls as is. I don't I don't like anything modified. Sorry, Maddie. You gotta go. Wow, bro, Maddie's my dude, man. I'm he comes sorry, out to man. smash on tab almost every week. That's my boy, dude. I'm sorry. Wait, okay, so disrespect, Thigh Man. Forgive me, man. <laughs> yeah, forgive me. Okay, TK. You know this should be. Alphabetized. Oh! Wait, you saw it? Passed it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Representing TK Breezy now. <laughs> Shout out to TK Breezy. Uh, this isn't being recorded, right? Uh, I don't, I don't know if Farzad's recorded. Uh, I'm not sure if Farzad's recording it. He's, he's sort of running the stream. I'm good at hosting events. I'm okay at playing the game, but I know nothing about streaming it, bro. Dude, but you're actually pretty good, though. What? Yeah, it's it's a 30-minute break. It's a dinner break. 6 o'clock. No, no, no. 6 o'clock is when Wave 2 Pools is supposed to end. Battlefield? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, let's see if you like notice any gaps or. Yeah, I'll I'll do my best to sort of identify anything that comes up as we play. I, I really like that the the empty hop. Uh, that was something that I I gotta tell Magiku when I see him next. Uh, I'll, I'll, he was doing a lot of like aerials onto shield, but empty hop such like a scary approach because. She, you can do literally anything out of an empty hop, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, you can jab, yeah. you can grab. So, so that was really good. I like that. So, Fox is really good at anti-airing with down air if, if you commit to something. Like, you committed to that up air. And I, I just I use my aerial movement to get around it, and I down air you. Okay. So you you gotta be you gotta have the really uh, have the presence of mind to know like your positioning and, and where I am in relation to that. Cause I'm gonna be looking for down air into up smash at like highish percent. Nice, slide off back air, really good. Don't don't overcommit. Like I I know uh, in two stock when when you lose the first stock. Especially against a character like Fox that racks up damage so quickly, like you, you really, you just want to get that kill out. You want to throw out that smash attack and you know, hope, hope that you even things out. But against Fox, you got to, you got to play patient. Nice. Good stuff. How come you didn't air dodge? Ah, uh, I was actually thinking that you were going to think that I was going to air dodge, so I'm like, okay, I'm not going to do anything and he's going to hesitate. And then I'm going to like try to come down with an aerial or something. That's true. See, I, I don't agree with you doing the spin dash onto the stage, because I was anticipating that. Like, my, my up tilt missed because I timed it wrong, but I was ready to anti-air that. I think going to the edge in that situation would have been better. Refresh your invincibility, take some time to breathe, think it out. Ooh, I try to take that. Yeah. D down air up smash. That's 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 gonna be one of my, my main setups to get the kill. It's gonna be down air up smash, jab jab up smash, or near up smash. So as as long as you sort of play like a, a kind of patient campy game, what I was recommending to Magiku use a lot of dash shields. Because then you can still like keep your stage control, you can still maneuver around without like being too stationary, but I also can't get any of my setups. Yeah, see, Nair up smash is an example of what I was going to go for. So I couldn't really do anything there. Well, it's not that you couldn't have done anything, it's like, the, those, those are going to be my, my main kill setups, right? So you have to think in your head, okay, what am I going to do to stuff those approaches? Like, in that situation, uh, 
I knew that because it was like a high pressure situation, it was last stock, last hit, you were going to want to roll away from me. You weren't going to want to roll towards me. Yeah. So I, I made the read okay. Once I put him in a tech position, he's going to roll towards the edge because that's farthest from me. That, that's just what's like my thought process with it. So keep, keep me on, on my toes in, in situations like that. Like in a situation like that, we're going to expect you to roll away. But do a get up attack, you know, roll in. Try, try something different. Uh, like, what are your uh, kill setups? Like, what should I look out for? When so, my kill setups, uh, just to go over them again, it's down air into up smash, nair into up smash, and tipper jab into up smash. Okay. And obviously up air on reading the air dodges, but if you're talking about my stuff that's true, th those are the three things that are usually true. Yeah, see, right right now, I'm, I'm just like baiting you into approaching me. Because I, I know that you're swinging, right? Like, you notice how I'm never in one one spot? Yeah. I'm, I'm always moving around. It's because I want you to, like, move towards me. I'm, I'm sort of, like, playing cat and mouse with you. Because if, if you notice that I'm just, like, staying here, you're always going to approach me there. Or, or you're just going to wait it out. But this sort of gives you the illusion, okay, like, I can approach him. He's, he's vulnerable. And that's something that you want to avoid. Nice, that was really good. Okay. Let's see if you go to the edge. Nice. See how by going to the edge it's it like it just it just resets things. Things aren't as chaotic anymore, you know what I mean? True, true. By going back on stage it's like man, maybe I'll run into a back air. M maybe he'll hit me with an anti air up air or something like that. I, I love the patience on that. I purposely held my shield because I'm like, okay, is he going to swing at me or is he going to wait and go for the grab? That, that's really good patience. Oh nair, nair up smash. Soft nair. It's so good. So down air, nair. Also like back air. Because it has no cooldown. Yeah. Back air if spaced properly, it's like close to safe on shield. All right. I, I knew that you were going to land with an aerial there. Oh, I yeah? just mistimed the punish. Uh, I I think don't don't get too antsy to sort of like stuff me when I'm, I'm trying to do my rush down thing. You know what I'm saying? Like by all means, don't just like stand there idle. But like I said, maybe use your spin dash to go to the edge. Try and go to a platform. Find safety. Don't go directly down. Because that, that down air, right? If it misses and I like space around it, I can up smash you. You gotta hold your shield up for all the hits of uh, down air, or else it'll shield poke, and then that'll lead into up smash as well. See, see there how yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. dropped your shield, and I got the poke. That's true. If, oh if, if 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 you're gonna stay in your shield, you got it. You gotta commit to it. You know, you can't can't be like, oh man, like he's coming towards me. I I, I gotta I gotta get out of here. You just gotta be like, you know what? Fox can't really do anything to shield. All I can really get off a of shield is grab, and my grabs don't lead into anything yeah. any any kill follow ups. That are, that are guaranteed, you know what I mean? So when when you notice that uh, like you feel pressure, don't don't you don't have to get out of your shield, you know? Like you can turtle sometimes. Turtling with Sonic isn't bad. Anyways, uh, it's it's a two out of three, so I I, I got to do the next person. That was, it was, it was, that was good games. Good games, bro.